Heavenly Father, you are infinitely powerful. God, you control everything and are deserving of complete praise over my life and everyone else's lives. Jesus, I I would like to commit to a nightly um, sort of prayer voicemail where I'm able to yeah, kind of just talk to myself, talk to you and to be able to um, compile all these prayers into one day sharing it with the world maybe keeping it to myself I'm not I'm not too sure I think it will be interesting to see how I grow over these next few could be a couple of days could be years uh, yeah today is um, I actually don't know I think September 7 or 6 2023. I'm a senior at Georgetown University, undergraduate. And, uh, yeah, Lord, I'm, throughout these prayers, I'm, I'll focus, I'll try to omit anything that involves other people's prayers. So that, for, for their privacy's sake. But Lord, help me to be as open and honest, as thorough as I would be with any prayer that wouldn't be recorded. Yeah. These will be shorter than, shorter than normal. Um, so that whoever hears these can can feel them also on a personal level. I am I have begun my last semester at of college and even though I'm only taking four classes, which I've always taken like five or five and a half classes, I still feel so overwhelmed and so busy so often especially this past week and I just I just pray that during these times of enormous stress of struggles that you'll lift me up to provide for me and lately I've been feeling so blessed I, I, I think I'm I'm in a season of such amazing growth with so many amazing people around me. I I can't help but be thankful and so grateful for what you have provided for me. Mm. But I pray I I know that. Oh man. I'm still so easy to fall into sin, to be tempted, to be angry at people, to be frustrated, to have uncontrollable lust, Lord. Uh, So even though I am feeling so blessed spiritually, I am so powerless against sin and against the devil but thankfully I have you who Jesus you have died for me you have I I still can't believe like saying that out loud makes me makes me shudder almost that I me me like giving money to someone me um like giving them like my charger even, 
Like, I, I'm so selfish. But for someone to die for me, to die, to be, like, stabbed through the wrists, to, to be dehydrated, to be spat at, to be whipped, to... For my sake, someone who is so, so <laughs> uh, pitiful. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't believe that you would do that for me. Even while I was so deeply in sin, you died for me. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Help me to remember that for this next week and for these. Uh, honestly, for the rest of my life, Lord. Help me to always remember that. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, forgive me for how <laughs> how corrupt and how <sighs> insufferable I am. That even though you, God, I, <laughs> you provide so much for me, I see your work all over myself, all around me, reaching out to me. But it's, I still find a way to cling to my sins, that no matter how hard I try to repent, I'm still buried under this, under these temptations, Lord. It's, it's frustrating, it's, to think that, yeah, I'm powerless to do this on my own. And even, I hate to say this, but even with your help, Lord, it almost feels like when I, when I ask to repent, when I try to repent, to turn away from my sin, when I ask for help to do so, it still feels almost futile. And I, I know I am grossly understating the impact you have for me when I'm able to avoid temptation, when I'm able to turn from my sin. But these times when my own selfish and sinful nature falls once again, it's every day pretty much. I, I know that even as Christians, as those who are saved, we are bound to eternal sin until until kingdom come but yeah it's hard yeah it's it's hard I pray this in your son's name Amen <sighs> Heavenly Father Thank you for providing such amazing, amazing grace for my life that I'm able to right now be walking, talking, seeing the trees, hearing the water. Yeah, just so many things that I, I take for granted. Um, yesterday I went to church and uh, I went into one of the prayer rooms for the first time, and yeah, it's like four, four like adults in a room, like sit down, and like hear what you have to say, what you have to pray about, any problems that they can be, that you can share with them. And recently for me, there's been, I guess for a few months now, 
like friend drama and how to best go about that as a Christian to best approach um, non-Christian friendships and like how to fix them um, but like at, from a Christian lens and yeah I thought that like this has been impacting me like a decent amount recently and yeah I just thought it was a great time but then afterwards uh, I just the, uh, another woman came in who was also coming to, to pray and she was like mid 50s mid, maybe 50s 60s and a Korean woman who uh, <laughs> she like talked for like pretty much straight 15 minutes about recent troubles with her I think her mom has the uh, Alzheimer's her dad is uh, not helpful like her house is crashing down like her foot's broken it's like all of these really unfortunate things like that are <laughs> so much more severe than my little friend bubble um, yeah I just sitting there thinking like wow I just talked about oh she doesn't like him he doesn't like her and hearing how this woman who still has so much faith in God despite having immense family uh, family trauma I guess yeah just comparing that with myself I know we're not really supposed to compare as Christians everyone's in a different walk in their life but just hearing that made me realize how much I forget the basic gifts I have from day to day. That I'm able to have a phone to be talking to. I'm able to hear you, Lord. To hear the birds. Um, there's so many things that I I just thought that I uh, talked about. Thank you. Yeah, pleasure. So pray that I'll be able to be able to keep being grateful and realize how blessed I am on my day-to-day occurrences. Thank you, Lord. And I pray this all in your son's name. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for a new day. Um, being able to see the sun on shining over my room, shining over the rooftops of, of campus. Being able to see the, the trees, the clouds, the skies. Yeah. Um, Lord, today I just want to talk about, yeah, I woke up like 20 minutes ago and I had a pretty bad dream, like, and pretty realistic one that a close friend of mine was, um, you know, I was trying to kill herself and like claiming that it was for your sake. And yeah, I, I don't know how to, I don't really know what I thought at first, but I knew that whatever means I could, I had to keep texting them so that, you know, to just keep the conversation going. But yeah, I was really scared of of losing her, really terrified of the thought that something close to me, something which I have put value and priority in, that it could just disappear just like that. And Lord, I, I know that you are the one who provides all things for my my air, my sight, my hearing. And so I know that even my friends' lives, my friends' existences, that they are they are not mine to keep or save your and I have I have no say in whether they are alive or not. Only you, God. <sighs> Only you have that capability. So I I thank you for keeping them alive every every day. <laughs> keeping me alive every day so far. Um I just, I feel blessed that 
I'm able to um, have such a close community, have such great Christian friends who have taken such good care of me, Lord. And please never let me feel complacent with with their lives because I don't I have no control over them, Lord. Help me to be grateful and to feel blessed every day for how much you have given to me and to them. And I pray this in your son's name. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for such a glorious day today. Um, I'm at church at Delray Baptist Church. And um, yeah, Tensa got baptized. It's such a beautiful day. Uh, so many people here. Yeah, I thank you for being such a kind and loving God who always forgives. Thank you. Pray to see you Heavenly Father, blessed are you, O Lord my God, King of the universe, Creator and um, the Almighty. How many times have I failed and fallen before you? How many times have I? sinned against the one who created me against the one who sacrificed his life for me even as I before swim in sin currently swim in sin and in the future will swim in sin Lord I pray that you will help me to repent from all of my wrongdoings um None of my will, none of my power or strength, it will be ever sufficient to make me holy. That that can only be done through you, God. Yeah. I pray that, um, yeah, that you would take care of me to, um, to as, as a, as selfish it may be of me, but to ask that you would be the one to change me. But that that is what you want, God, I believe. Uh, you, you created me. You've seen how I've fallen. You have died for me. You have saved me. And even as I still stumble away, Lord, I pray that you would restrain me, hold me fast to you. Um, and that you will love me, to care for me, to guide me, and to teach me what is good and what is righteous every single day, day by day, consistently. I pray all this in your son's name. Amen. Heavenly Father, why should I gain from His reward? I cannot give an answer. But this I know with all my heart. His wounds have paid my ransom. Pray this in your son's name. Amen. Heavenly Father, blessed are you for such a beautiful night tonight that I'm able to come see your creation, this beautiful chapel that I was just standing in, and now this beautiful clock tower and this beautiful fountain these beautiful lights and trees, Lord, that you provided all of this and that despite all of my struggles, still 
life goes on in this nature and light that you have created regardless of any sins that I do of anyone's sins you are still Lord over all and you still make life beautiful thank you for all the people that you put into my life that yeah like Autumn she was such an amazing pick me up today walking home from Yates and all these people I'm meeting from moot court to my classes god there's so many uh, coincidental occurrences that I know are not coincidences at all that you are lord over them all I pray that the rest of this weekend will go regarding your will not my strength through not my glory not my will but yours alone because it is you who matters not me <laughs> I am a slave and I can choose what slave I am for either to sin or to you there's no other in between if I'm a slave to myself that is sin and that will only lead to death but if I'm a slave to righteousness and to Jesus how beautiful is that that you have already won the fight you are the conqueror you have conquered me how how at peace should I feel thank you Lord thank you Jesus oh I pray that <laughs> I may have a safe walk back home and I pray all this in your son's name Amen